Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you an apartment tour. I'm gonna to show you around my one bedroom apartment and it's quite small so hopefully it goes by quick. But overall I wanted to emphasize the areas that I keep my books. So I just want to focus on how I organize my books but I'm pretty much showing you around my entire apartment and I hope you enjoy and let's get on with the tour. This is my one bedroom apartment. It's quite small, but I think it's the perfect size for me. I'm just going to do a quick little 360 of my place. And then we're going to start on this side, the kitchen. Here is my fridge. Nothing too exciting, but I have some photos of family and friends and I just stick them up with these super cute succulent magnets. I live alone, so I try to go grocery shopping once a week so I can portion out my meals and not waste any food. Here is my microwave sink area. My fridge turned on so you might hear it. Nothing too exciting over here, but I do have this ceramic pot that I made and I keep a fake plant in there. And this part of my kitchen is my favorite part because it has all my vitamins and I have just been into my wellness era and I just really want to invest in myself and my health. So I have some teas right here, my vitamin pill case organizer. I have some gummy vitamins right here, uh, my superfood greens. This one tastes so bad, um, but you can barely taste it when you put it in a smoothie. So that's the only way I can drink this one or consume this one. But I like this other one by the brand Teamy. Then I have a collagen, I have emergency, and then my vitamins, some protein bars seaweed and other random things. I'm just gonna quickly go through my pantry. So over here I have normal pantry things like soy sauce and hot sauce, parchment paper, aluminum foil, and I have a super cute tiny baking kit. I saw it on TikTok but I never ended up using it so one day we'll make a tiny pie or something like that. And then over here I have like peanut butter, trail mix, some chia seeds, things that I use for my smoothies and my acai bowls. And then I also have like canned beans in the back. I keep all my spices here, nothing too aesthetic. Then up here I have some noodles and baking things like flour, cornstarch, pancake mix, and all that good stuff. Over here I have my countertop. So on the left, I just have a banana produce holder with potatoes and avocados, some chips, and then my Brita filter. This paper towel holder is from Marshalls, I believe. And then I have this little tiny blender my sister got me. And I haven't used it yet because I always use my Ninja blender because this is just so tiny. I can't really drink that much from this amount. And then I have these fake tulips from Amazon. Moving on to the living room section of my apartment. I have this full length mirror from TJ Maxx. And on the mirror, I have a photo of this bookstore called Shakespeare and Co. And I actually got to go, it's in Paris. And it's so cute, I love that bookstore. And on the side, I just keep my Trader Joe's grocery bag and an apron and then behind the mirror I have my yoga mat and some shoes this little doorstop alarm just in case someone tries to break in my apartment and then I have this sunset lamp that my sister got me and it's perfect for meditating or journaling and it's a lot nicer when it's dark outside this area is probably one of my favorite parts of my entire apartment I love this book stack. So I have the stool from Amazon and then I just try to keep earth tone books on here. So books that are green, white or off white and there's some brown in there. And I love a lot of these books. On top, I just have a fake plant. And then beside this little book set or book stack, I have my couch from Target. It's a perfect two person couch and it's the perfect size for my apartment. I just keep this blanket 
on top and these two pillows I think from Home Goods or World Market. On the wall, I have some decor. So I have this fan from the flea market, and then I have this little plaque that says Sisters Are Forever. My sister got it for me. She got it from the thrift store. I believe she got this from Hawaii, but I think it's so cute, so I hung that up. And then I have this My Neighbor Totoro poster, and next to it, I have more bookstore postcards and these are so cute. And I think it just helps me to be motivated to read some more and kind of sets the vibe of this wall. This is my two person dining set. It's perfect for my apartment and perfect for me. I usually eat alone anyways. Um, it's from Amazon as well as this giant gallon water bottle. I have some apples up here in this ceramic bowl that I made. I also have an apple scented candle from Trader Joe's. Down here I have snacks in this box that my sister got me from Japan. Let's just look at it really quick because they're so cute. I have this super tiny Kewpie mayo and some chocolates and random little snacks. Pocky, I'm so excited to eat these. Then moving on to the books that I keep down here, I mainly just stick to food related books. So some cookbooks and then these two random food books. And then I also have a random sociology book. I just didn't know where to put it. So I stuck it down here. And then I also have some Honolulu cookies in the back as well as my portable speaker. This corner of my place is my manifestation meditation corner. I love it here. It's super peaceful. And I made the conscious decision not to put a TV here in front of the couch and made it more of a relaxation corner. So on the wall, I have prints from Smile Cult. It's a small business that I'll link down below, but I just love these prints. They're just very motivational and positive. And I really like the one on the right that says, don't look for your worth in people or productivity. But I got this last year, so that's why the sticker on the top says, hello 2022. This is where the magic happens. I love this part of my room. The table is from Home Goods, and I love to sit on these floor pillows. They're also from Home Goods. They're super comfy. It's nice to meditate on and journal on. As you can see, I like to keep a book stack. So these books are geared toward personal development, spiritual growth, and self-help type of books. So I have a book on manifestation, the four agreements I'm sure you know about, Peace is Every Step, a book about boundaries, and then the bottom two books are about being in the present moment and consciousness. So I love keeping these and looking back at them when I'm reflecting. These candles are from Target and the candle holders are from the thrift store. And then these altar candles are from House of Intuition, as well as this little burning oil. These incense holders were a gift from my sister and then I have these coasters from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I always get those two mixed up and then I have crystals. Half of these are from House of Intuition and then the other half my waxing lady gave me and she's so sweet. Um, so she gave me like this one but I love to have crystals on here. I got this candle recently from Aldi and Aldi has really nice candles for really cheap. And then I also have this stress-free aromatherapy candle and this random like tiny little construction set that I got as a gift. I didn't know where to put it so I just kept it in the back right there. You can't really tell that it's there. And then underneath all of that I have my notebooks and journals for manifestations and affirmations. And some of them have journal prompts already in there. So this one is one of those journals and it's pretty cute. So I love to journal in this little corner. Moving on to this side of my apartment, I just keep some books and my vision board. This little unit is from Walmart, but the books that I keep here are mainly hardcover books and the genre is mainly sociology books. So if you can't tell, I have a couple books on poverty, abolition, consumerism, food. So those are the types of books that I like to read because I am a sociology major. 
And then on top, I have more hardcover books, like coffee table type of books, like this one down here, and then this poetry book. And then I also have all my books from Hanif Abdurraki. He's one of my favorite authors and poets. And then on top, I have this mushroom little container that I made. <laughs> then on the side, I have my tripod, my lunch pail, my vision board, and in the back, I have my old vision board as well. And I love it. I love making vision boards. I think it's so fun, and I'm so grateful that I achieved everything in my vision board last year. Behind my door, I hang up some scarves. I think they're a perfect way to add some color into the room and use them for decor. But I also have my sunglasses, some extra candles, some lighters, some freshener spray, Polaroid photos, and I keep my incense up there as well. I also have my cute little Polaroid holder, and I think I also keep my ring light in here. Yeah, so I just store them underneath all of the scarves. This is my bedroom. I'll do a quick little scan across the room. This is what it looks like. It's a little dim in here, but like I said, it's small, but the perfect size for me. Behind the door, I keep another one of those racks so I could hang up my hoodies and a coat. And I also have some belts on there. And then I also have this coat hanger, coat rack. And I don't keep any coats, but I do have all my bags on here, my backpacks, my tote bags, my purses, and then I keep some hats on top. This is my favorite section of my room or one of my favorite sections because it has a ton of my books in this book cart. So this book cart is from Target. It was really easy to assemble. And as you can see, I organize my books not by color, but by height. So I go from tallest on the left to shortest on the right. And I'm gonna start off in the back. So I just keep a lot of stationary things in the back right here, like extra pens, extra film and tape. And then I also have like extra electronics in the way back over here. And on top, I keep the current book that I'm reading. I'm reading Dear Dolly by Dolly Alderton. I'm really enjoying it. And then I also have my book sleeve. But as for the sections down here, this is how I organize it. So on the top, I have decolonization books. And then in the middle, I also have more books about environmentalism, um, consumerism. And then on the right, I have books on feminism. In the middle, I have mainly essay collections. I love reading essays. I have a couple of memoirs in here. And then in the bottom, I have books that I read for school. So a lot of the books are about food because I study food. And they're also sociology books and books about grad school and coding. As you can see, most of the books on here, or pretty much all the books on here, are paperbacks because they're a lot easier to fit in. I don't really recommend putting hardcovers, especially in these two sections. Now we've got my nightstand. So first we have this mirror, I think it's from Target, $7. And then I have a little sticker on top that says read more poetry. I got it from a publishing company, Andrews McNeil and this is my nightstand. I love this part of my room as well. This actual stand is from the flea market as well as this wooden tray. But on my nightstand, I keep affirmation cards and these are super cute to read every day in the morning to get you motivated for the day. I have my gratitude journal that I write in every night. I have this tissue box holder. This is thrifted. And then I have this container, the ceramic little container that I made. So I just have my Glossier lip balm, a lighter, a scrunchie, and a pen. And then I have this Polaroid photo frame holder. This is from Urban Outfitters, but I keep a photo of me and my parents in there. I have this wooden wick candle from Trader Joe's. I love this. A fake succulent. I have my sunscreen to remind myself to wear it every day. And then I also have a body butter from Trader Joe's and my Himalayan salt lamp. At the bottom, I just keep some books. So if you can't tell, in the back, I have a stack of books to help prop up the mirror. 
but the books in the front are mainly books I haven't read yet so I want to have easy access to read them and cross them off my physical TBR list but these are the books that I have lined up again I go from tallest to shortest and a lot of these are also hardcover and then on this side I also grouped up some poetry books right here and then I have this book of Where's Waldo. I love Where's Waldo. It's a fun activity to do before going to bed. Here is my bed. So I have my journal right there. I did a little morning journaling and these sheets are from Target. The mushroom pillow that I adore is from a local boutique. And then I have some prints on the wall. So I have my mushroom print from that same boutique with the mushroom pillow. I have book photos. These are postcards from Barnes and Noble. And then I have those two prints on top from a flea market in SoCal. And then these Vogue prints are from Richmond, Virginia from a used bookstore slash poster store. And then I have that print from a PR package. On this side, I have my desk. The actual desk is foldable and it's from Amazon as well as my chair. Then here I just keep my tablet, some books, my planner, um, and let me just go through what I normally have. So on this side of my desk, I have a stack of books along with my Lego bouquet. I have a candle that says Aries because I'm an Aries. And I have this little tiny mini calendar that my sister got me from Japan. So we're on February right now. And I also have this ceramic tiny heart-shaped mug that I made. And inside, I just keep some magnetic bookmarks that my friend got me. And then these are the books that I have on the side. I think it matches well with my bouquet. Hi, <laughs> I'm going to close this. But on this side of my desk, I have some books that I really enjoyed. I think I rated all of these books five stars. I have this fake succulent. I also have this tiny Nutella and my mushroom lamp. This is what the light looks like on, but this is my whole little desk setup. And this is my planner. I love it. It's pink. And this is from Target, my 2023 planner. Oh, and then I have this mug that my sister gave me. I just finished drinking tea out of it, but it says, I turtly love you. In the corner by my desk, I have a shoe rack. I got this shoe rack from Big Lots and it was like $10. And then on the left, I have my closet. I keep a cause bag hanging on the little handle. So let's go into my closet. This is my closet. It's nothing too fancy. I have a lot of storage boxes in here. And then I also have my washer and dryer. I keep my hamper and washer items in here. And I'm drying some clothes on the washer. But I don't really color code here. I sort of do, but not really. Um, I have a certain system for my closet, but I won't really go into it. I have clothes in the back right here. And then I have this drawer unit from Walmart, I believe. It was like $10 as well. Now I have this clothing rack shelf unit. It is from Amazon. I just keep more books on here and some clothes. For my clothes, I keep a lot of neutral colors on here. I have a lot of fall weather clothing on here. So like sweaters, jackets, some vests. On the top, I keep white covered books on here. So white colored books go up here to match these tiny dumpling candles that my sister got me. They're so cute. And my digital clock is also from Amazon. This section, I have my perfumes. I have this book and I think it really elevates the look of the section. I also have my jewelry. So I have a jewelry in the back right there. I keep it in this glass holder that I thrifted. And I also keep some rings in here, some earrings, and this is a little Aries horoscope container. And I have more perfumes in the back and rose oil and hair oil. 
My mirror is from Walmart, and then I have another fake succulent. Here I keep some ivory colored books or off-white colored books, as well as some pink books. I have a candle that's pink, <laughs> some perfumes that are pink, this Glossier like solid perfume, and then I have this heart-shaped mug with heart designs that I made and I think it's so cute. I also keep this pink makeup bag. I have all my makeup in here. I don't have very much, but it's in the back right here. Then at the way bottom, I have this box where I keep stationary items. I have more books, and these books are sort of like neutral colored books, and they're geared towards self-help. And then I have a bubble candle, a little mushroom Polaroid photo holder that my sister got me, and that's a photo of us. And then I keep some shoes down there and some books that I was gifted in that basket below. Now we're gonna enter my bathroom. The blower is gonna automatically turn on when I turn on the lights. So you'll hear that, but this is my bathrobe that I hang up. And then this is my bathroom. It's kind of small. The strawberry curtains and the bath mat are from Target. And then on top of my toilet, I have some wipes. I have this mahogany teakwood candle. I love the scent. Another candle, a fake plant, a room spray. This little container I thrifted to keep some hair supplies on top. And then this is my sink, my medicine cabinet. I have skincare and hair care items. And then on my left is where I store a bunch of different things. I have tissues, extra towels, extra hair care things, travel, hair care and skin care items in those boxes. I have hair tools, extra soap and toothpaste and toothbrushes. And I wanted to show that I emptied out my candles and then I put Q-tips in there, I have some pads in this one. But yeah, this is my bathroom. This is where I organize all my little extras. That concludes this apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I basically wanted to make this video because I used to love watching these type of videos and I used to get so much inspiration from watching other room tours or apartment tours, but I'm pretty happy with how my apartment looks right now. So I don't think I'm gonna be making any major changes, uh, but overall, I hope you got something out of this video. Maybe you decided you wanted to add more books into your life and read more or use them as decor, or you got some organizational tips or decor tips. Um, but anyways, I just hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!